So I've just received a video response, and this one is from the same intellectual giant who in a previous video response to me indicated that a good survival strategy for tornadoes is wearing a parachute. Because apparently he knows a lot about physics. Just kidding, he doesn't. Anyway, the description of it is enticing. In his latest cop apology video, Integral Math makes 6 feet into 10 and relies on demonstrably false authority to make the case that an unarmed man was a threat to some apparently guileless and blind cop who still managed to shoot the man dead with 13 rounds, though he's, be, he's to be commended for not having to reload and being within the 21-foot safety zone. 21 feet! Really? Maybe a bit more training is in order. Yes, because training is definitely a great way to overcome the laws of physics. Maybe you shouldn't make videos explaining cop crimes just a car. Just say, and I'm getting tired of this carousel. Yeah, Moody was justified. Pfft. Only if you believe cops don't lie and that the forensic investigators don't round six feet up to ten, like someone I could mention. <clears throat> Presumably that's a dig at me. Otherwise, it's he said, he said, or rather the live cop said, the dead unarmed guy said. It's not so much that the unarmed guy is dead, it's just that another cop gets away with killing another brown person. Well, I, believe, I do believe he was black, not brown. While we're on the, the subject of details, he didn't shoot him 13 times, he shot him 11 times. I know these are trivial things for someone like you, but facts do matter. Okay, um, and uh, killing another brown person, and this fuckity-fuck secret decoder ring PhD needs to square the death in his own head by not actually examining the evidence by lying to himself and everyone who follows him. And in the process, might as well be gloating that another cop got away with another murder. Fuck him. Well, with a glowing review like that, let's get to it, shall we? Hi, everybody. I know, I know, I know, but here's the thing. Um, it pisses me off when people pretend to know shit they don't know. <laughs> oh, that's rich. Oh, that is so, so rich. Now, uh, I know, this is, a, Integral Math makes this video. Integral. Integral. Say it with me. Three, two, one, integral. Saying that um, this officer involved fatal shooting was justified. And um, he, he never quite gets around to explaining why it was justified. I well, you're aware of the 21-foot rule thingy that I mentioned, and that the guy had a knife, although you claim he's unarmed. So those facts alone are sufficient to justify uh, defending oneself. Now, you, you might disagree that the guy was armed or unarmed, which I'm, maybe we'll get to. Uh, hopefully you'll bother to explain that. But if the guy was armed, and within that, that range I talked about, which was narrower in the, in the video I discussed, uh, I mean in my video, then that fully justifies the, the shooting. Anyway. I don't know why. Um, first off, there's all these little niggling things that he neglects to mention. Like, he's not involved in the investigation. And you know this for what reason? I've not said whether I am or am not. So you're just either guessing or assuming and then stating that as a fact. What was you said at the be what was it you said at the beginning? People who talk when they don't know what they're talking Oh, maybe that rule only applies to other people. So there's that. Not uh -oh. Really. oh for the record, I'm not saying whether I am or am not. I'm just stating that you don't know, and yet you're stating uh, something as a fact that you can't possibly know. He neglects to mention that uh, the people that cleared the cops, or that cleared this cop, are cops. Like him. He was a cop. Well, I don't know that they're like me. And apparently, as I understand it, he was a forensic examiner or investigator. Okay, um, I neglected to mention that the people who cleared him were police officers. Okay, and you neglected to mention that uh, that he was also cleared by the uh, a, an independent state review, the district attorney's review, 
and independent investigators hired uh, by the district attorney to do an independent review. Uh, anyway. Now, let me tell you... The this is the forensic analyst who was independently contracted uh, by the district attorney's office to do a review, incidentally, since you mentioned the forensics a bit. The, the, the awesome power of a PhD in mathematics. Oh, this should be rich. Do I need a pen? In this video, the victim... The victim. The felon who had earlier beaten his wife was on his way back to her house and was armed. Is the victim. Okay. Sure, why not? Was a man named uh, Eddie? Ernie. Went, uh, to, ah, I forget. Ernie. Not important. I know, he's just, uh, just a dead brown guy. Why should you bother to know his name? Wait, let me read your description again. Yep, you seem to be in, uh, exercised about the brown person bit. Um, at least not for what I'm going to say. Oh, okay. He's in his truck. His truck is a Mazda B2000 or 3000, something like that, one of those trucks. Maybe a B4000, I doubt it, but... Um, these trucks have a six foot long truck bed. I wish I hadn't erased this uh, drawing I had from earlier. Okay, so uh, that's six feet. The policeman that shoots the victim, the victim. is standing two to three feet from the end of the truck bed. Okay, so, uh... Since you know how much those white cops love shooting the brown people, I'll give them a smile. That's another three. Approximately. Uh, not to scale, incidentally. The victim was at the top of the truck bed, right? He's coming out of the passenger side door, so he's right at the end of the truck bed, on the, right towards the cab. So... How far? Just a car says that the distance is 12 feet, maybe 13 or 14 feet, give or take. Yeah. Um, the truck bed is 6 feet, the guy is, let's, I'll be generous and say the guy is 4 feet away from the lift gate of the truck. Six and ten is there. Six and four is ten. Hey, you weren't kidding about that PhD, were you? So the guy presumably is not the police officer who has one arm shorter than the other. That's because he's taking aim. Anyway, so the uh, truck bed is here. The door is there. The guy gets out here. But you're saying he's four feet from. The lift gate? Is that, is that this? That's where you're talking about? Four feet from there? Which puts him in the back of the truck. Not in the cab of the truck where he's getting out. So you have this six plus two or three, plus whatever that distance right uh, there is. So if it's one or two feet, we're now up to ten or eleven feet. Which is wildly different from twelve to fourteen feet. Well, <laughs> wildly? Hold on, wait. I'm, I'm, since I'm not a mathematician, I'm going to have to count this out. One little, two little, three little lines, four little, five little, six little lines, seven little, eight little, nine little lines, ten. Okay, and then, uh, twelve would be, well, two more of those. So if we say twelve, which is what I had written, and then I said maybe thirteen or fourteen, so I said twelve, and then maybe thirteen or fourteen. So, uh, from here to there is ten. And then from here to there is 12. Now this could be, if this is 6 and that's actually 3, that makes 9. And you add 1 or 2 more feet, and you're at 10 or 11. If this is 4 feet, and that's only 1, then you're still at 11. If this is 4, and that's 2, then you're at 12. I mean, it's something in that neighborhood. But anyway, this addition here is not radically different. Now if you even add in like, the other 14, or the other 2 for my 
maybe as far as You're not really making much of a difference here. What, what line are you pursuing? Now, you know how I know this? <laughs> I mean, I don't have a PhD I can and I'm guess. not a forensic investigator. Wait. I had no idea. I never would have guessed that you don't have a PhD. I am shocked, I tell you. Absolutely shocked. But, um, there's this thing on the internet, it's called Google. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of it. I'm going to write that down. Goo I hope I'm spelling this correctly. Google. Later on, I'm going to use Yahoo Search to figure out what a Google is. But you can type things in. Type in words into a little box. And you can gather information. This is probably your thinking process as you're doing it. Okay, little box. I'll type in that little box. Me? I type outside the box, you know, by actually knowing something. On whatever it is that you typed into, in, into the little box. Almost like a search engine. Sounds um, familiar. So, oh, I'm not sure how exactly it is that a forensic investigator with a PhD in mathematics is unable to use Google, or is unable to estimate. So you're claiming 10, I said 12. But that's a bad estimate. Well, okay. Although you don't uh, specifically say how you get 10 feet. Because you, you talk about the guy in a way that I'm not sure exactly where you're placing him. But I, one thing is that you're not placing him at some distance in front of... I don't know, is this... I, I don't know what you mean by that part of the car, so I guess I just don't really understand what you're saying is the, the part of the car that you're measuring from. You don't have any pretty diagrams either, like mine. The length of a truck bed. I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, so this is who we rely on. This is who we are to trust. This and two apparent forensic investigators. Independently hired by the district attorney's office doing its own independent review of the shooting and overseen by the state. I don't know if they're overseen specifically, but over, uh, also independently investigated by the state, reviewed by the state. So you've got the police department, the district attorney's office, which is independent from the police department, and the state, which is independent from both of those, and the independent investigators, uh, forensic analysts, they hired to conduct an independent review. Is now a bad time to mention that the knife was found? Just, you know, I, I, I don't know, is that... You know where it was found, oddly enough? Like, his hand was there, and after the shooting, it was found like, well, over just a smidge, and down. Almost like he let go of it while he was moving slightly, and it fell because of something called gravity. Maybe that's what you need the parachute and the tornado for. I'm not sure. You can say it all you like. You can say it all you want. There was no knife in that. And you can say there was no knife in there all you'd like. I mean, okay, you've done all the work of uh, establishing what it is that takes an assertion. Any, 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 it makes an assertion. Anyone can say anything they'd like. Unfortunately for you, there are, aside from the police department, three independent investigations that all independently arrived at the same conclusion. But whatever. But I'm sure some guy on the internet who, well, isn't a PhD or a forensic expert of any variety, I'm sure that you're the person I should listen to. After all, who better could I trust than some random guy on the internet? Okay. Okay. Look at the video. All right. I did. Several times. And for those of you who want to claim that there that this or that shadow or this other thing might have been a knife he is supposed to have had a six inch throwing a six inch or eight inch 
Eight inch. The knife was eight inches in total. The blade is four inches, which you would know if you, you know, I don't know, read the forensic analysis of the video or looked at the picture of the knife that they recovered that totally wasn't in the video. Also, interestingly enough, the sheath that was on his belt that you can also totally not probably see in the video, it fits the exact dimensions of the knife that were just randomly, the knife that was randomly found there that oddly enough is in scale and proportion to the thing that he was holding in his hand that was found just under and to the side of where his hand was after he was shot. It's a miracle. Inch throwing knife. For those of you unfamiliar with throwing knives, well, for those of you unfamiliar with eight inches, <laughs> just a car. It's not me. Give or take, more or less, like that. Well, I don't have my wallet handy, but I would hold up a dollar bill, which is six inches, and then just add your two more inches to it. You're the kind of guy, if we go out and be like, hey, that bitch wants, uh, wants to get 10 inches and for us to hurt her. So I'll fuck her once and then he'll fuck her uh, twice and then we'll smack her in the head with a brick. You know, my eight plus your one twice and a brick. Anyway, so a dollar bill and then two extra inches. Now the blade is four, which is half of the length of the, uh, the blade that he had, the knife that he had, which means that if you fold a dollar bill two inches off of that and hold it in your hand, that's the remainder. Anyway. Um, and it's a throwing knife. So you actually have to be holding it in some manner. You mean like in his hand? Where you can actually throw it. You mean unlike the sheath on his belt where it was kept until he got out with it in his hand and like that? Oh, oh right, I forgot. Didn't have a knife. Being that it's a throwing knife. Now, you could not throw it and you know, use it as a regular knife, a dagger. Yeah. Um, but in either event, if you're going to use some knife to defend yourself, which is not a folding knife, you'd be surprised how fast you can open a folding knife. Trust me, it's like, you grease it right and it's open. No sh Wow. You have expertise in something. Opening a folding knife, something that's not common to every five-year-old boy in the United States. Bravo. I don't sit here and play quick draw McGraw in my house with my firearm. Just, I'm just saying. If it's an 8 inch knife that's a full tang blade, which means that the blade runs the length of the handle, um, 8 inches is pretty fucking hard to miss. So, if you want to say that there was a knife in that video, there was a knife in the um, video. The only thing you can really rely on is the word of two forensic investigators. The police department, the district attorney's office, the independent investigation by those forensic analysts and the state. Who, I'm just hoping, I'm not sure, I'm hoping that their PhDs, if they have them, didn't come with secret decoder rings. Um, now. It's actually apt to say for a mathematician, because that's what mathematics is. It is essentially looking at things and decoding them. It's the science of patterns, in fact. Uh, math people who graduate with mathematics degrees are heavily sought after by the government, specifically for coding and decoding things. So that's actually relatively apt. I know it was accidentally the case on your part, but nevertheless. So, the guy, you know, clearly did not have a knife. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much you would like to lawyer it into existence, the attorney for the family says that the knife was in the truck bed itself. Yeah, which is oddly enough right under where his hand was once he started getting shot. Strange. So. And he had a sheath on, you know, which if you looked at, uh, if you did in your own investigation, you would know this. But here's the interesting thing. Okay, I've got my knife sheath, but just because, well, you know, I'm such an upstanding guy who just beat my wife. What I'm going to do, guys, pull over. I just want to make sure I put my knife in the, the bed of the truck for everyone's safety, because I'm all about that. Ain't I lovable? Um, I'm sorry. You are. Uh, I have much more faith. Uh-oh. Call it silly if you like. Okay, silly. In someone who doesn't have to lie. <laughs> in someone who's actually 
supposed to tell the truth. Who, if they don't tell the truth, they get in actual tr tr trouble. Yes, and they have met the professional standards of review, the independent ones, for what they were uh, hired to do. You know, um, the police lie on a regular basis, and they don't get in trouble for it. So, if Somebody? we're going to hinge an argument uh, about the knife's existence on credibility, um, yeah, investigators hired by the police department or the district attorney in a case involving a policeman who shot an unarmed man, um, they have absolutely no reason to lie. Well, the police and the district attorney might, but the independent contractors, after that case has expired, still have to be able to get work, and if they violate their professional ethics, they can't do that. And their cases, uh, a professional standards board, will review it. None at all. Not that their paycheck comes from the state. No, no, no. They would have no reason whatsoever to lie, would they? Well, that must be one really nice paycheck. I mean, I know some analysts in California who make $1,100 an hour. But, you know... Once they're finished with the instant case, they still need to be able to get another one to get that next 1100 bucks an hour. That's for testimony. They do less for the actual investigation and then administrative work, so they have different uh, pay scales for different kinds of work they do. But for the actual testimony, they get paid quite well. And one ethical violation, they don't make that money anymore. And with an ethical violation on the record, they won't be hired by the state, so there goes that meal ticket. But, um... Justicar says, uh, quote, he doesn't feel like Ernesto, uh, or whatever the guy's name is, is reaching for a knife. I'm fairly sure none of that is a quote. Because somebody who apparently is ignorant, and by the way, by the way, when I made a video... This does actually sound like it could be a quote, because it does, you know, slightly drift off topic a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it's not actually a quote. Questioning something you fucked up on, you said I was poisoning the well... Yeah. By mentioning exactly what it was that you fucked up on. No. You said I was poisoning the well. Yes. Here, you're responding to someone who is legitimately ignorant of something, and you call him an ignorant person. Yeah. Um, Very good. I don't know. It was right um, there in the title. You, we, let's play sem semantics. Okay. I know that the word ig ignorant merely means that you do not know about something. Well, we finally got to something you know. It was about time. However, when you put it as the title to a video, yeah. it would, I imagine, to a great many people who use English in the normal everyday sense of its usage and not the bastardization that people like you use it. You mean like in accordance to the dictionary definitions of what words mean? Sorry to bastardize it. Silly me. Um, would infer that the guy is just stupid. So, poisoning the well? What? I I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that people read the title recognize I'm calling the guy ignorant. Because that's right there in the title. Yeah. He's an idiot. I very routinely call idiots idiots. Idiot. Sorry, I didn't quite hear that. Now, he goes on to say that also in that video, I said, well, the well's sufficiently poisoned, can we get to the argument? Let's not leave that little detail out. At I didn't whine about it. The cop him. doesn't feel like, he doesn't feel like, he perceives someone as a threat. And, um... Still is not a quote. Explain the fucking difference. Go ahead. I love to see contortionists talk shit. I said he didn't feel like someone was reaching for a weapon somewhere, which I'll explain in a minute. And then, you know, a little bit later, I explained it because the guy had the knife in his hand. Did you miss that part, or was that a little bit too much information for you to process? Oh, while we're on the, the subject of your schooling me about the internet, just so you know, on those videos of mine that you watch, it's not a one-shot deal. You can, you can, like, play them again. And I recommend that you do, so as to help you get the, the, uh, the sequence of events and the facts correct. The facts correct. Uh, now, here's the thing. Okay, lay it on me. He says, he goes on to say, uh, 
you don't tell someone to drop a thing they're not reaching for. No, I said you don't tell someone to drop a thing they're not holding, that they're reaching for. I don't tell someone to drop an item they don't yet have so as to be able to drop it. You say, don't move, don't go for that, don't touch that. I have this in my hand, someone could tell me to drop it. If my hands are empty, telling me to drop what's not in my hands is stupid. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Drop the air? Oh, gosh. Well, it is slightly warmer around my hand than the ambient, the ambient air, so let's hope I can actually... Well, that would rise. Shit. Well, okay, I'm fucked. In reference to the fact that the officer in question, I think his last name is Moody, says on the... You can hear him say on the video, drop the knife. Yeah. Which is found. And Justicar says, well... Why would he say that yeah. if he didn't have a knife? How about this? Okay. Conspiracy theory? He's lying, and he knows there's a dash cam there. Oh so whatever God. he says is going to be recorded. How about that? Did that not cross through your little mind? Did that not cross through the wide expanse of the PhD level intellect that you claim to have? I'm just asking. Maybe it's just me. I'm just trolling. I don't know. How, how about it? I've gotten this a couple times. I don't need to say that someone's trolling to note that they're being an idiot. I, I don't doubt that you think that you're correct. I just, just you're an idiot. Is it not possible that the police officer knows there's a dash cam? Sure, it's possible. I mean, he does drive that car every day. But then you still have to explain the existence of the knife that fits in the sheath the guy had on his belt and the three uh, independent agency reviews of the shooting. Oh, and the witnesses. Really? I mean, because there's a lot of dash cam videos on the internet. There are. Presumably. Like three or four on Google alone. I remember the uh, another video that you made where you said that the, the officer involved shooting of a South Carolina state trooper managed to change police procedure across the nation overnight. You mean to tell me that the Mantec... Yes, what we learned from that was, hey guys, lie about shit. Lie, lie, lie. Just make shit up. It changed a lot of things, you know, like, it, it rhymes with lie. It was, don't die. I can see how you might get those confused. APD. All the cops there assume that they're the only cops without dash cams. That's what you're telling me. No. That's what you're saying? No. Um, one of your commenters says uh, that you have a justifiable bias. Yeah, I know. I get that oh, uh, whole bias thing, and people like him, and probably you in a second, or her, I don't know if it was a boy or girl, are too stupid to realize that I have said I do have a bias towards law enforcement with a proviso. Good law enforcement. I'm very much biased against bad law enforcement, you see. Details, I know. Facts, what do they matter? And you say, oh, well, no. I've, uh, you, you can go ahead and ignore all the times that I've blasted yeah. cops for X, Y, Z. Um, yeah. That means exactly what? Blasted. Uh, I, I have a cop blaster. I carry it, uh, on, on my non-gun hip. And I pull it on and go, blast! What, what do you mean, what does it mean? When cops do bad shit, I call them out for it. Asshole. That you, you've you eliminated bias? Because you have, what, come down hard on some cops here or there? Here or there? Well, I've only agreed with the cops here or there. You have no bias? Then clearly, if you'd have no bias... Then clearly... Um, then I would ask you again okay. how a six-foot truck bed becomes 10 or 12 feet. I'm just... Oh, see, see, we're, we're back to these, these fact thingies again. Six feet plus more feet equals more than six feet. So you're pretending that the officer's flush here and that he's flush 
there, neither of which is true. Curious, because I know you have a PhD in math. And I don't exactly know, I mean, because I, I was, you know, in, in, in a former life, I was a lowly carpenter. And we had these things in car carpentry. Um, it's hard to imagine that you're a laborer. Just, I would not have guessed that. I am shocked. Shocked and appled. They're, uh, measuring tapes, that's what they're called. That's what they're called, measuring tapes. I, I, sorry, I... I did a video in response to the Young Turks, uh, and I discussed in measuring tapes, so I know, I happen to know offhand where you can go look if you have a, if you need a reference. It's, a, uh, it was, a uh, Army Regulation 600-9, where one of the appendices to that had pictures of measuring tapes and explained how they work. Uh, because apparently not having any moving parts, you might need an explanation. So, so I, I, I know I can help you. For a second there, because I, I don't have a PhD. I, I don't have this massive intellect that you clearly have. Um, so I'm just curious to know how it is. Yes, my ability to watch a video, <laughs> spot a shiny object, uh, and then read a report required so much in intellect. And that's even assuming that I didn't take part in the investigation, which I again hasten to add. You don't actually know, do you? That what math it is that makes six feet into ten. I'm just curious. I'm six, three, and one. And that's just being conservative there. Just asking. If you could please forward me the papers, the mathematical the, uh, tre treatises that outline this. And I, I, I can't guarantee that I will even un understand them because, you know, I'm not That's a PhD sure. in math. <laughs> um, That's for damn sure, sport. Uh, but I'd like to try. You, you, you know, think of it as helping the under... You know, I know where you can find them. I've heard about this thing that exists on the internet that if a little box comes up you can type words into. <laughs> And then apparently things show up. Someone told me about that earlier tonight. I haven't tried it yet. Sounds, sounds dash cunning to me. Oh, as giving a leg up to the brown guy, you know, let's do that. Now, I'm just curious to put it out there. Um, that dead guy in the video, he was really brown. Black, but I'll go Do brown. you think Officer Moody had a black friend, maybe? No. Do you think that that's the case? I bet he's I'm not uh, sure. I don't know Schrodinger's that. racist I'm cop. I'm just saying. Because you know how those white guys are. They just love to shoot them some niggers. I mean, oh my god, I so miss the South. I haven't I haven't had a good chance to put on a white sheet in years. I am doing a Tom Lehrer song. I want to go back to Dixie. <laughs> Whooping slaves and selling cotton. Ain't seen a good lynching in years. That's the line from it. guy with a gun. Right, white guy with a gun, black guy with a knife, black guy lost. Racist. Brown guy climbing up. Say, you wouldn't be saying that brown guys don't commit crimes or threaten police officers, would you? I know you wouldn't. But anyone can use this vacuous rhetorical device. Climbing up, up. See, this is, up. This is just up. another niggly and little away. fact that apparently you just didn't. You know. I don't think you should use the word niggling when we're talking about brown people, sir. You failed to take into account, perhaps. How many people do you know... Four. ...exit their truck from the passenger side and then climb upwards? I don't think I know anyone who owns a truck. I don't hang out with lesbians. I'm sorry. I'm just curious to know. Maybe it's a function of being brown. I mean, I don't own a truck. So I don't know how I would act if I had a truck. I might, you know, revert to some previous, uh, uh, some some more primitive form. Primitive. Apparently, you don't understand biology either. No, I mean I'm already primitive because I'm brown, right? Um, maybe I revert to some primitive, so some more prim primitive form. Are you a little Marxian? Instead of getting out of a truck and putting my feet on the ground, I actually reach up and put my hands on the cab, because, you know, apes are known to sort of, you know, climb. 
you, you do realize, of course, that we are apes. And so if people do it, then the statement about things that apes do would be true. You know, I'm, I'm told that some apes use this thing on the internet called Google. Sounds like it. Yeah, I bet that'll catch on. Shit. So may, may, maybe that I, I don't know because I've never owned a... What you don't know could fill libraries. Talk like that before, so I'm not quite sure. Um, oh I'll tell God. you what, though. On the playground, I was pretty good when I was a kid. Monkey bars? You know, I was pretty good on the monkey bars. That, you know, <laughs> that have something to do with it. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, Did you wear a parachute just in case any tornadoes whipped through? Just out of curiosity. Four more minutes of this shit. Three? Ugh. Uh-oh, I might get accused of misestimating that by a minute. I watched the entire video, oh, by good. the way. Uh, which is how I know it's a six-foot truck bed. Just saying. You know, I, I... I know I don't have a PhD. I know, I'm sorry, I... You know, you really don't need to go around announcing that you're not educated at that level. I mean, you really don't. I, I promise you, people will know it. They'll figure it out on their own. Just think of me as a student. Think of me as a student no, that sitting in one of your classes, you know, and think of me as a particularly dumb student. And okay. please explain to me how it is that it's impossible for a policeman to lie knowing that there's a dash cam recording what he's saying. Aha, uh -huh. you see, we didn't just take his word for it. That's what the video thingy's there for. Oh, and the district attorney's office and the state review and the independent uh, people who are hired to do an independent review. Oh, never mind. Please explain to me how a six foot truck bed. Okay, I'm done. All right. Have a great night, everyone else. This was fun. Well, that's one F word for it.